Hi guys! So, welcome to Slay the Princess. It's a horror choose your own adventure game. After watching Marco Pyro Pyro for like five minutes today, I decided that I really, really needed it. So I am here to play the baby. Chapter one, the hero and the princess. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. <gasps> a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Oh no, the end of the world? The end of the world? What are you talking, talking about? about the end of everything as we know it. No more birds, no more trees, and perhaps most problematically of all, no more people. You have to put an end to her. Well, clearly, the narrator has never seen me play uh, Amanda the Adventurer, because I just don't follow directions. Uh, but how can a princess locked away in a basement end of the world? Uh, if you don't tell me why she's dangerous, I'm not going to kill her. So yeah, there's a thousand choices. There's so many choices. Oh, there's some. I'm not reading all of this. Um, which one seems the most knowish? Because that's just not who I am. Um... Following directions on the foroscope is never something I really do. Uh, do you have any evidence to back this up? You're already on the path that leads to the cabin. Why would you be here if it weren't to complete a very important task? You've made it this far, you might as well reach the end of your journey. Um... Can someone else do it? Unfortunately, you're the only one who can pull this off. I don't make the rules. I wish I did, but I don't. But she's locked in a basement. How could don't she, you know, end the board? Don't on the specifics. You have a job to do here. Just get in there and do what needs to be done. We're all counting on you. Well, that's your first mistake, counting on me. Have you, have you considered that maybe the only reason she's going to end the world is because she's locked While up? I appreciate the mental exercise, we are running up against a bit of a ticking clock. What if I just keep talking? let me assure you, the princess is locked up because she's dangerous. She is not dangerous because she's locked up. And before you decide to waste even more of our time by asking how I know that, let me suggest a more pragmatic lens through which to view this situation. Oh, tell me. Causality doesn't matter here, because the end result is the same no matter what led us up to this point. If the princess leaves the cabin, the world will end, and there is no changing that. That's fine. It's no use arguing semantics over a metaphorical chicken or egg, because the egg is hatched and it's about to ruin everything. Unless, of course, you do your job and slay her. You know, killing a princess seems kind of bad, though, doesn't it? Does it? Are you a monarchist? Is slaying a princess that much worse than slaying a fisherman or a miller or a seamstress? If anything, slaying a princess is much better than slaying a seamstress. Seamstresses contribute something of value to society. Oh, I see. Have you ever considered that maybe I'm okay with the world ending? Of course I haven't. Why would I even consider that? Nobody wants the world to end. Well, that was your first mistake. I mean, maybe some people do, like nihilists or very, very evil people, but surely you're not one of those. Oh, I buddy. Think. Oh, buddy. Hmm, look, I got a couple more explorers. Uh, yeah, forget this. Uh, ooh, well, do I get uh, some sort of reward for doing this? Yes, but you'll have to slay her before you get it. What's my reward? Can you tell me what my prize is going to be for doing a good it's job? It's a secret, but I think you'll like it. I like secrets. It's a special reward, just for you. And whatever you think it might be, I can promise you it's going to be even better than your wildest imagination. My wildest imagination is a mega theater where, where every uh, screen is playing the Bean movie, so I don't think you can beat that. Yeah, you know, um, I, I forget this. I'm not doing this. I'm not killing Are people. Are you serious? No, you have to do it. No, I don't. Bye. Seriously? You're just going to turn around and leave? Do you even know where you're going? Nope. <laughs> huh. I suppose you just quietly continue down the path away from the cabin. Good. 
What we're being asked to do here is wrong. Better to wash our hands of this whole situation than to take part in it. Ignore that annoying little voice. He doesn't know what he's talking about. I like that annoying little voice. That's strange. It looks like this path also leads to the cabin. I didn't have a choice. Convenient. Everything's back on track again. Maybe the world can still be saved after all. Turn again, turn on again and leave again. You're really keen on wasting everyone's time. Aren't you? <laughs> it's remarkably selfish, if you ask me. I've already outlined the stakes of the situation. If you don't do your job, everyone dies. Like dies, dies, forever. Cool. Not my problem. Ooh. You're not emotionally backing me into doing this. Good, maybe everyone should die. That's what they get for dumping me in the woods asking me to kill someone for them. I, yeah, good. When I said everyone, I meant everyone. That's a pretty large group to just condemn to death over a single princess. And, last I checked, you're part of everyone too. So if you think about it, walking up to that cabin and slaying her is really in your best interest. Maybe I want to die. Fine. You turn around and <laughs> down the Oh, would you look at that? You're at the cabin again. Now, I'm not normally one for superstition or astrology, but I have to say, it seems like the universe itself is doing its best to bring you to your fated confrontation with the princess. There's no fighting in this, is there? I have to go into the cabin, don't I? Fine. Or, oh yeah? Well, I guess I start walking a different direction again. In fact, I'm going to just keep trekking through the wilderness until I find a way out of this There's place. There's always a choice. Let me tell you right now that you're making the wrong one for pretty much everyone who's ever lived, as well as for everyone who ever will. That's fine. And here we go. As you trudge into the woods, something strange starts to happen. At first, it's little flickers out of the corner of your eyes. Glimpses of familiar wooden structures through the leaves. But as you focus on your surroundings, you start to realize that those flickers weren't just a trick of light. In every direction, there is a path and a cabin. And not just a cabin, the cabin. An infinite fractal of paths and cabins desperately trying to draw you back to where you need to be. Wait, what's going on? Right, guy. But you're too stubborn for that, aren't you? It doesn't matter how many paths or cabins appear around you, you're just going to do whatever you can to shirk your responsibility because you care more about irritating me than you do about the fate of the world. There you go, buddy! You got it! You've doomed us all. You know that. But of course you do. Otherwise, you wouldn't just wander off into the forest in search of certain death. That is what I want. You lose track of just how long you spend aimlessly tromping through the wilderness. But it's not like any of that time spent lost in the woods really matters, because it isn't long before the world ends and everyone dies. Chapter 2, The Stranger. Ooh. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Oh no. Okay, no. Oh, don't you start grandstanding about morals. <laughs> The fate of the world is at risk right now, and the life of a mere princess shouldn't stop you from saving us all. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. I don't know. I think it's more fun if he knows what we're thinking. He's like a captive audience. <laughs> the entire world ending wasn't enough to get rid of us. I don't think there's much he can do other than object. I wonder what else we can do to ruin his day. <laughs> if by ruining my day, you mean ruining everyone's day forever, then yes, I suppose there are plenty of ways you could pull that off. The world really did end last time, didn't it? We should be careful. For all we know, we just got lucky. The world hasn't ended yet. And you are never going to slay her with that attitude. Stuff those pathetic little voices to the back of your mind and stay focused on the task ahead. Those yeah, I was thinking those walls weren't here last time. You can't just force me to go to the cabin. What are you talking about? I'm sure those walls have always been there. 
It makes sense if you think about it. If there weren't any walls in the woods, someone might have gotten lost. Or, heaven forbid, someone other than you might have stumbled onto the princess. Is that how woods work? Fly, yep, okay, heading to the cabin now, where I'm definitely going to see the princess. You know I can tell when you're lying, right? Please take this seriously. I am begging you. That's your first mistake. I don't respect begging. Oh, warning. Before you go any further. There's a lot of walls. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. If we're stuck going in there, maybe we should believe her. Maybe she isn't a liar. You're right. Ignore him. He's just being difficult for the sake of it. I'm being difficult for the sake of it. Let's keep an open mind. The cabin interior what the fuck? is wrong. A confusing patchwork of many cabin interiors, all projected across what's almost the same space. It's all shifted. An inch here, a foot there. Such that the seams are never quite visible enough for the place to make any sense. The only furniture of note is a plain table, its legs all the wrong lengths, its material devoid of feature. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. Ha! Huh. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. I don't think I really need it. If he wants us to take it, maybe we should just leave it to collect dust. Or better yet, Grab it and throw it You're out the window. Right. What good is a knife against a world-ending monstrosity anyway? You're absolutely no, right. We take in the knife. Have you seen this place? We have literally no idea what to expect and no idea what we're dealing with. I've already told you what you're dealing with. You're dealing with a princess. How many times do I have to explain this incredibly simple and straightforward premise? A lot. You can't just say that. But when everything here is so wrong. I don't know that it's wrong. Well, I do know because I watched the first five minutes of the Markiplier video, but that doesn't mean that I know. Well, yeah, I really don't know much past the uh, the original. What happens if you actually go into the cabin the first time? Listen to me. My job is to describe facts as facts and to guide you through your job, which is to slay the princess and through that action save the entire world. But who says I want to do that? If you're going to slay her. You cannot let fear creep into your heart. You cannot lose yourself before you even get to her. Don't worry, I've not lost myself. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you've piqued my interest. What's going to happen if we lose ourselves? Nothing, because you're going to pull yourself together. Ooh. Just ignore the stressful geometry and stay calm. I don't find it that stressful. Now, even if we closed our eyes, you're constantly describing it to us. I'm not going to stop doing my job, so you're just going to have to get better at yours. And quickly, if you don't mind. Yes, take a deep breath. I'm all for getting under his skin, but we'll miss out on loads of fun if we shrivel up into a ball and go insane the first time we see something weird. What you're seeing here is obviously real. Just accept it and go with the flow. It really isn't hard. Okay. Okay, I'm fine. Good. Now, whenever you're ready, we're all waiting for you to complete a very important task. Ooh. You didn't say anything about the mirror on the wall. You didn't. Ooh. We should look at ourselves. Wouldn't that be fun? You yeah. won't be looking at yourself because there isn't a mirror. There's the table, the blade sitting on the table, and the door to the basement. There's, There's also two windows. There's definitely a mirror. It's definitely a mirror. There isn't. Yes, there is. You insisting it isn't there just makes me want to look at it even more. Mirror. I also want to look at myself. I want to see how handsome I, I am. We shouldn't waste time preening. But if he is lying about the mirror, it might be important. You're right. I'm not lying to you. Use your eyes. There is no mirror. Why I mean gaslit. Something so meaningless. I think so gaslit. What good would it even do? So we're all in agreement then. We're looking. Yeps. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. This really isn't funny. You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. 
but it was there a second ago. And now it's gone. You know that taking the mirror away from us isn't going to change things, right? We'll find it again, and then we'll see whatever it is that you don't want us to see. <laughs> Can I jump out the window? Ah! Take the blade. You take the blade from the table. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Can I throw it out a window? Okay, fine. You took the knife. But you really shouldn't hold it like that. Then how are we supposed to hold it? The other way. Thumb at the bottom. It will look much cooler and more serious if we hold it with our thumb at the bottom. Ah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Grabs a pocket knife. It really knife. doesn't matter how you hold the blade, as long as you have it. Just make a choice. Hold the blade the other way. Switch your grip on the blade. Congratulations. It's cool. Yes! Isn't this so much better? <sighs> okay, fine. You're right. This does look a lot better. Now throw it out the window. It really doesn't matter. Just get on with it and deal with the princess already. Yes, do, do it. it. Seriously. Ugh, you throw the blade at the window, glass showering the cabin as your weapon flies out into the night. I suppose you'll just have to deal with the princess without it. That's fine. We'll be fine. Don't worry about it. What's the worst that could happen? The world ends. Been there, done that. I'm not so sure. This place is already messing with my head. It would be much better if we had a weapon. Ah, we're fine. What's done is done. Good luck, Ooh. hero. This is so cool to look at. Enter the basement. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a web of what arching did I do? staircases all built from unidentifiable materials. Nothing here seems to belong. And the closer you examine your surroundings, the more confused you get your head throbbing with the effort of making sense of this place. None of the stairs even seem to go anywhere, let alone down. The air here has a sickening, almost sludge-like miasma to it, the kind of indiscernible quality that comes from the blending together of every scent there is at once. An odour that is simultaneously everything and yet the sum of it all coalescing into a thick, nauseating nothing. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. You're right. Her voice, a disquieting collage of tone and personality, drags up the stairs. Hello? Hi. What are you doing here? Are you here to kill? No. No, thank you. No, thank you. Oh, don't be such a baby. <laughs> I don't want to do this. Let's just turn around and leave. This feels wrong. This feels like a trap. Like whatever we do, we're gonna die. That's fine. We don't even have a weapon. That's fine. But we already tried turning around and leaving, didn't we? And he threw up a wall. No way to go but forward. And whatever choice we make, whatever she is, we know one thing for sure. And what's that? That the fate of the world hinges on your success? There'll still be plenty of ways to ruin his deck. Yes, that is the mindset to have going into this. Ooh. Let's take the harsh stairs to the left. You step to the left. The path is cruel against your feet, the impact of each step sending pulsing vibrations up your legs until there's nothing left in them to feel. The air yeah. around you grows cold the further you progress. At first, a barely noticeable drop, quickly evolving into a numbing cold. Your toes feel like blocks of ice. Your breaths puff out in clouds of condensed vapor. You shudder against it as you continue down the stairway, losing yourself in the bone-deep chill. You slowly lose sense of yourself the further you go. Time disappears, and you can feel yourself begin to untether. Physical sensations dull and then vanish until the only things experienced are the endless repeating patterns and emotions of the journey, a continuous march forward to a destination long forgotten. I haven't even made it to the original destination, my guys. Consumption and betrayal, skepticism and blind devotion, 
rivalry and submission, terror and longing, pain and unfamiliarity. And at the heart of it all, an emotion that can only be described as... Are you just going to stand there? Oh, hi! What... What the hell was that? What happened to us? I feel so strange. Like I'm fundamentally different, but also still the same person I was at the top of the stairs. Oh well, that was a trip, but now it's over. <laughs> Time to get back to our old devilish ways. The princess, eyes bright but otherwise shrouded in darkness, watches you impatiently from the other side of the basement. Don't forget why you're here. I'm gonna save the princess. And uh, why are we here again? In case you weren't listening, I'm afraid I lost myself on the way down. <sighs> you're here to- he's just being an ass, we remember. Though I'm still not sure if we should trust you. Let's talk to her for a bit, try and get our bearings. She seems normal. Ooh. Let's do, what's your name? You can address me as your royal highness or her majesty. Any honorific should do, really. No, yeah, works for me. You can call me princess if you'd like. As the princess speaks again, it's almost as if she fractures. Ooh. Where there was once just one of her, there is now another. We can do that? I don't like this. It's those cabins all over again. Can can we put her back? Probably not. You said you'd been here before, right? What exactly happened last time? Does it matter? Yes, it matters. But I'm not going to waste any more time prying out details if you're going to be so irritating about it. It seems to me like you saw something you weren't supposed to have seen. If only you'd listened to whatever words of wisdom you were given in that other reality. <sighs> but what's done is done, isn't it? I feel like I have, um... I'm missing some important context. Whatever you saw last time, unsee it. Whatever thoughts weaseled their way into your head, unthink them. If it's not already too late. You have a job to do here, and you need to do it now. Ooh, new plan. Let's see if we can make even more of her. Woo! <laughs> That's a good plan. Uh, yeah. Maybe it's because I'm dangerous. Yeah, you are dangerous. But you know, right? You have to know. You're the only other person I've ever seen. Or at least the only one I can remember. Don't give me false hope. Please just end this already. One way or another, just do it. I don't think we're going to be able to put her back. That's fine. Kind of hurts to think about it, doesn't it? It's like everything we say just multiplies her. It certainly looks that way, so please, for the love of everything, stop asking her questions and stop stalling. You're obviously just making things worse. I'm going to stall so much. Ooh, getting weird down here. Uh, getting down here was weird. Like, I was pulled apart and put back together again. Do you know what happened to me? What? Like, you need me to hold your hand and tell you everything's okay? You're not really cut out for this, are you? Why are you even here? For the uh, shits and giggles. Oh, I thought they would send something better to deal with me. If the stairs manage to chew you up, I will devour you. Sometimes I feel like I'm being pulled apart, too. It's so terrifying down here. But at least now you're not alone. And I'm not alone either. We're probably stuck down here forever, aren't we? There's no way out. And barely a way in. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh, if I let you out of here, what are you gonna do? I don't think what I'd do really matters, does it? I could tell you that I'd lead a quiet life in the woods, or that I'd open an orphanage, or that I'd do any other number of good things that I'm sure you think you want to hear. You either trust me, or you believe that I'm dangerous. What I say won't change how you already feel about me. Besides, you already know what I'm going to do. If you want to put an end to me, then put an end to me. Not a single real answer. Mm -mm. At least aside from this blood and destruction, it's infuriating, isn't it? Whose buttons are there for us to press? Whose skin is there for us to get under? Not exactly how I put it, but I don't disagree. There must be something we can do. Asking questions just seems to make things worse. This is reaching its breaking point. If you don't act now, there will be nothing in here but her. Take a deep breath and focus up. You can do this. But how do we decide what to do? 
can there even be a right choice when all of them are so different? Stop overthinking it. Your drifting thoughts have clearly been part of the reason this situation has gotten out of hand. <laughs> You're trying to do the right thing. There's only ever been the one option, and that option is slaying her. Not gonna do that. Just, just do something. Do anything. Do all of it, if that's what you want. This place is hell, and it's only getting worse. Make it worse. Oh, that's just... What is going on? It's just all is lighting up. I'm getting you out of here, trying to free her. I don't know uh, what you are, but I, can sh I can't trust you. I can't trust anything here. Leave her in the basin. I don't really think about uh, the time you, <laughs> you threw out the uh, I'm the, 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 regretfully think about the time you threw the blade out of the window. I guess I guess I'm choosing all. Wait, that's not right. Go on. You take a step forward. Your foot lands, but it lands different. You experience a firm footfall, a gentle tread, a confident stride. You can feel yourself rupture. The room spins, your perception multiplying in a sickening kaleidoscope as your very self is pulled in incomprehensibly many directions. That's fine. You find the blade suddenly in your hands. All at once you use it to strike at her bindings as you remain upstairs and slay her and leave her to the perish. Is this what the end of the world looks like? What an unbearable mess. But this... We, we can't... Do you not have anything witty to say? I could use a good bit of wit right now. I could use a good bit of wit too. No, I don't, because this isn't fun. How are we supposed to have fun if everything is happening at the same time? It's the same as nothing happening, and nothing is excruciating. Luckily for all of us, nothing and everything doesn't go on forever. The world and the princess collapse in on themselves before it all falls apart. I think he's gone. We were never going to salvage this, were we? Oh God, no. What happened to us? What are we? What are we? There are parts, there are parts of us that are dead, dead and, and the others, and the others they, just they just don't fit. They just don't fit. We, we can, can feel, feel them moving around, around in spaces, spaces they, they, they don't belong. belong. It's, it's all so uncomfortable. uncomfortable. Did you, you do this? Did, did we, we do this? Can, 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 you, pull can you pull us back apart? Can, back can you fix us? us? We should help her. I think we did this. How surprisingly sincere. I didn't actually think our actions had consequences. I don't think so either. It's a little late for regret, isn't it? Please, please, please. 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 Ooh. It's going to be okay. I'll do my best. I don't think you're supposed to be fixed. No. You just destroyed everything. I'm not going to fix you. I see, I don't I don't think you're supposed to be fixed. Or say nothing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I I'm, I'm one for messing up situations. Kind of just what I do. Um It's going to be okay. I'm going to be nice. The illusion of choice. Uh, but you don't know if she had the chance to hear you apply. She's gone, replaced with something She's else. Gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? Where's that mirror? Why is it here? Why now? Uh, I don't know where she went, and I don't even know uh, how we even go looking for her. The narrator's gone. I think I'm supposed to uh, look at the mirror. Um, I think I'm supposed to look at the mirror. Dreadful about it. I don't think you should. I think no. I should. <laughs> don't do that. Narrator's what? gone. Does that mean the world ended? Again, what the hell are we supposed to do? I don't know where she went. Right. She's gone. It's just us and that awful thing. Again, what the hell are we supposed to do? Look at the mirror. I'm begging you, don't do this. We're doing it. The mirror never scared you before. It's different now. It feels... I don't know. Final. I approach the mirror. Silence uh, as you reach for it. They're gone. But the mirror remains the same for you to see what's in it. 
It's me. It's you. You are all alone in a place that is empty. It is quiet here. Proceed to the cabin. We're at the cabin. That's not a cabin. Something finds me in the long quiet and brings me the gift of a fragile vessel. What the fuck are you? Are you the princess? Yeah, what are you? I am solitary lights in an empty city. What are you? Confused. What do you think I am? Solitary lights, what do you mean? Thoughts without connections. A dim and nascent network. I wish to be more. What do you think I am? I think that you are like me. Confused? Our oceans reduced to shallow creeks. Ooh. The gift of a fragile vessel. Yes. Nerves and fibers to feel the worlds beyond. Perspectives to make my own. These ones are a contradiction. A winding kaleidoscope of paths and walk. They are stretched into a shape not unlike me, but it is a shape they cannot hold. Huh. I am sorry that you met this vessel so early in your journey. Yeah, this is my first playthrough. They will make for a rich and vibrant heart. Okay, I guess. Do not mourn them, for they will finally get to know themselves. Um? Do you know about the wards beyond this place? I know only that they are. Uh, are you the princess? She is part of me, and part of me is her. But were you always a princess, or are you just making her a part of yourself? You speak in circles. Does it matter where one thing begins and another ends? Honestly, with those one, probably not. Is this the end of the world? How can the world have ended if we are talking? That is fair. Ooh, uh, can you let her out of there? I'm sorry. There are some changes that can never be undone. There are some tears that can never be unshed. This is not a place that can hold a fragment of a concept. The moment she arrived here, she was going to return to me. Huh. I promise that it doesn't hurt. Do you know the narrator? You are the only thing I have ever known. The space we're in is vacant. Nothing comes here but us. Are you what sent me to slay the princess? Are you what uh, trapped me here? I have only just now stirred to consciousness. I could not have trapped you here, and I too yearn to be free. Do we know each other? You are familiar, but you are not me. I feel sadness, longing, hope. As I witness you. And then what happens now? Nothing, as we are. But I know that there are worlds beyond us, and that we are meant to reach them. There is no exit, but this vessel is a creature of perception. She can make you forget, if only you believe her to be able to. Bring me more perspectives. So that I may be whole, and perhaps then we will know our freedom. So many questions. Uh, aren't you scared that I will find a way to kill you? I have not lived. I am not afraid to die. That is fair. How much do I forget? Everything. Until we meet again. Uh, how many more pieces of you do I have to find? More than you have found, but less than there are to find. I am infinite. The rest will find their own way home. Uh, what if I don't let you do this to me? Then we will be here forever, 
as we are now, unfinished, dry, hollow. I was sent to save the princess to stop her from destroying the world. If I help you, is that what you're going to do? You ask of things that cannot be done. To destroy is merely to reshape, to remold. You're being semantic. What are you going to do if I help you? How can I know? I am flickers and something sprawling and unilluminated. Okay. Make me forget. She asks that I tell you to remember her. You won't. <laughs> you won't. Oh, everything goes dark and you die. <laughs> huh. 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 You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. How do I pause? And How do I say it? Oh. Oh! Oh, it tells me my history? Oh. Oh, oh! 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 Okay. So, that is all for the first video of many of this uh, game. I have a sneaky suspicion this is a massive game. Like a massive, massive game. Okay, so I'll be back. Uh, bye!